Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 3. Now I must make amends. Scepter. The Tyranny of King Washington DLC. more and more difficult to understand. Can't forget to say that. Hello, dead people. Wonder how you died. Uh oh. Nope, you don't touch my mother. Nope, you don't either. You don't either. You don't either. And you don't either. It's a quick little five piece, I like it. Uh-oh, we got some pedestrians running away from something big. Oh, wow, is there a UFO about to come pick me up? Why is everything lit up? You gonna see that? Look at this light following me. It's not really doing it anymore. I thought I was about to get freaking alien abducted in Assassin's Creed. That'd be a cool twist, some aliens versus cowboys stuff. There she is, the savage that tried to steal the source and symbol of my power. Gaze upon it, or it will be the last object you will ever see. I come here to destroy both you and your sad village. But none like you will be allowed to live. Commander Washington. Stay back, Mama, I got why this. Why are you doing this? After all we accomplished, take hold of your senses. <laughs> Another delusional savage. I have never had such a firm grasp on my senses. Now bend your knee to your monarch and make penitence in the last moments before you are blasted to your dread reward. Corporal, take care of them. What if Washington had freaking turned into this? Like, what if this is real? What if he had become a king? Do not permit any blue coat runner to light a fuse. Not permit, said, not permit. I said that really stupidly. Here comes another one. Where's the other one coming? I don't see any. I don't see anybody trying to light the fuse. Oh, over here. Hey! Little bastard. I don't think so. There! We must stop them! What fuse are they trying to light? A nuke? Amir? No, you don't! Oh god, he's really far away too. He better not be almost there. Sweet! Just call me Connor! Why are you calling me? I thought I got a hard hanging on. God, there's two of them. Mom, why don't you go get the one that I'm not going after? Why are you just following in my footsteps? You could get twice as much done in the same amount of time if you weren't just following right behind me. Come on now. You're smarter than that. Are there no more? Here comes another one. Killing these guys before they even even get in our blue area. Right in the outskirts. Hey, slowpoke, come here. Again, mom, you don't have to follow right behind me. It is unnecessary. You aren't even doing anything. I just stopped there on purpose to see if she would try to fight him, and she didn't. Mission complete. Good stuff. He tried to destroy the entire town. It was all my fault. I do not understand. Washington knows me 
He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Obviously, shit's you? changed, Connor. When would you ever have met that monster? I met him. I... Mother, this is all wrong. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village. Before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Does he not realize we, like, either traveled back in time, or this is a dream, or the previous experience was a dream, or... I mean, this isn't real. Something's not real. Get on that horse. You watched your mother die, bro. She didn't just reincarnate. Take that horse, brother. I'm on the horse. Alright, here we go. Mom, for a badass warrior who's been kicking ass the entire game so far, you're kind of stupid at times. No offense. Still love you. The You're Lexington kind of stupid. I knew was the scene of a great triumph. And now it is a place of disaster. This way. It will be faster. By the way, are you guys as excited for AC4 as I am? Oh, shoot. Really? Freaking pirates, though. Pirates in Assassin's Creed 4. Real pirates. Been checking out all the freaking trailers and stuff. Getting uber excited. Attack me, bro. Come on. Mistake. Alright. We were ambushed, but we Imagine survived it. The war path and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Mad Come King George. We know. All Sweet face paint, bro. The bows of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death for those who lack the Constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, Mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan mother's request. We will collect the bows. Speak to Oyaner. What kind of gypsy witchcraft is going on here? We will burn them. I intend you. They're making some special tea. It's got bigger pitfalls than it does advantages, so it sounds like it's got some bad side effects. Uh-oh. Red Willow Tree, I have a feeling the tea, the tea has the to do something willow. with that. Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strengths by the but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. So it's kind of like Voldemort and his horcruxes. But I have seen in a way. To those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not allow you to drink it. <laughs> I'd better be drinking it soon. I'm excited now. But yes, that's like Voldemort and his horcruxes. They make it more powerful, but at the same time, it kind of takes something away from him. Hopefully, I get to drink that tea and just go freaking man mode. Thank the maker we are not too late. Back to my village that's not been burned down. Like it was in the original game. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? 
Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. <clears throat> what no about me? Paths. We can fight them as human beings. My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will. But my son will not drink the tea. But I want to. But ma'am! He will die. 